call the meeting to order at six o'clock. First on the agenda, are there any changes or additions, Dan? Next, approve the minutes. The minutes of July 27th, 2020. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any Motion is passed. Next, the minutes of August 3rd, 2020. I have a motion. Second. I have a second. <laughs> Any further discussion? Yes, um, I wasn't there until um, after, I was there for item two under uh, section four. Yeah. Uh, and so the motion, all the motions prior to that would have to be four zero. Set of five zero. Right. Yeah. 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 Cut to Erica. Yes. Thanks, Judy. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion is passed. Next, community concerns. Do we have any community concerns tonight? Seeing none. No liquor control. Seeing none. New business. Number one, approved bid for the 2020 and 2021 town report. Is that you? No, that's Erica. Erica. Okay. Anything to comment on that, Erica? Uh, no, I mean, we've gone with um, retail for kind of like the ERB year. Yeah, I knew it was a while. Did we have anybody else after News and Citizen do it? Or is it them? No, I think it's that. Yeah. Yeah. Do I hear a motion regarding this? Make a motion we uh, use repo graphics for the town report for 1395 for two years. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? And just to clarify that 1395 per year for two years. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Number two, set municipal tax rate. Is that you, Tina? I guess. It's now. I guess they're <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so these are the tax breaks that we came up with. Um, just to give you a little bit of background, just because the tax rate is going up a uh, certain percentage does not equate to the amount of money that our municipal budget goes up. Right. Um, for example, in 1920 uh, year, tax rate was 2.74% increase, but the town budget increased 3.3. And this year we're looking at the tax rate doesn't increase 3.37, but the tax budget increased 4.3%. So it has to do with grand lift more than anything else. Right. We just wanted to make sure we talk about this. Throughout the budget season, we always get, well, how much is that going to impact the taxes? And we don't know. Right. We don't know what the grand lift is going to be. So we thought this was a good time to, yeah, we were 4.3 budget last year. Yeah, 4.3%. But you know, when you get ready and you take all everything, all the additions that we ran list, you've got number two, we've been scaling back on the, the personal property tax, right. which actually raises, you know, you're, you're shrinking your tax base a little bit each year to do it. But just to give you an idea, you know, what you're looking at when you're ready to come back in the budget season it doesn't always equate into what the tax rate will go up. Right. Or or what your property taxes are going to increase or right. decrease. You know, <laughs> Each year, you get those questions. You really don't know, but 
to give you some sense, you know, now you know, that our RAM list is growing. Um, we are adding more properties all the time, so it does help offset some of that minimal taxes. Right. And do we know that the education tax rates are that? Is that yeah. what they are? Okay. Do I hear motions regarding these? Yes. Verbatim. I move to set the municipal tax rate at 0 0.9369. Do I have a second? Second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. I move to accept the residential education tax rate of $1.4887. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. I move to accept the non-residential education tax rate $1.6342. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Thanks, Tina. Thanks, Eric. Next, approve errors and omissions. Oh, Denny. Yeah, kind of, this is just a dumb question because I get lost in this stuff. Like, there's a school. Why are they going to go to I don't know. Um, so they go back and readjust like we will for our budget? Is it the last two things for the FDA to go to No. They don't really adjust it. It's installed anyway. This is just accepting it. It's like advisory. Yeah. It's written. The state sets the education tax rates of the town. They help for the new year. They enforce the say yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, right. I kind of thought that, it's, but right. I was thinking about that. Oh, I, said, I remember when I first got on, I was like, what? Well, we say no. Yeah, yeah. they want to say no. Send it back to them and say, you better readjust the numbers. Yeah. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. So you can mess yourself up by doing it.
Are we doing them all once? Sure. I hope you do that. I move to approve the uh, errors and omissions for Lucia Marcia, Anthony, and Billy Joe Watson Cleveland, and Kevin and I. Kevin R. and I. Kevin Matthew and Michelle I. Yep. Can you read that right now? Okay. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? I was I was wondering about I understand the covenant that the Clevelands have. I don't understand the covenant that the Matthew and Mich and Ede have. You know what that is, Dan? Right. As I know the Cleveland's house is a, a habitat house, so it has a different type of a mortgage. And right. um and restriction thereof, but I, I don't understand the other one. You know about that, Tina? Oh, no. I know nothing about no. the solicitor stuff. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a difference. It's changed the bottom one there, 156-800 to 109-800. I don't know the specifics of the restriction part. Okay. I don't know either way about it. I don't. To, uh, can seek out more information and not do that one right now. Yeah, I don't. I don't know any. Are there other covenants in the town? Do other properties have covenants on them? Sure, they do. They Most do? Of them do. Some sort. Oh yeah. Yeah, many many properties in town have covenants. Okay, I'm just only familiar with like you know the um. The, the, yeah. the, well, a covenant is sort of like an encumbrance that comes with the property. And uh -huh. um, it could substantially devalue the property depending on what the covenant is. Right. And just that basically is what it is. And it, um, a lot of houses in Morrisville, a lot of houses everywhere have, have covenants like that. Okay. I was just thinking uh, with the HOA where they have, that's yeah. what I was thinking of. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, this is different. This is general covenant covenants, I think, from the property. Okay. Especially in developments. Yeah. That's where exactly. Yeah, did you hear what Gary said? Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Any Motion is passed. Number four, purchase air packs for the fire department. Denny. Yes. Or Mike. Yes. There's another um errors and omission. Are we doing oh, that? Too? Yeah, I we did them all. Sorry about that. I'll put you on hold for a second. No, you just you didn't know. 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 I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? And that was just a typographical error, right? Correct. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Okay, now air packs for the fire department. Okay. There's no good deal of this a long time trying to replace bottles. Yeah. Keep stuff going that we have. Well, we got to the point now where the frame is no longer going to be serviceable. The bottles are a different style. So when we purchased Engine 3, we bought four new shots with bottles, two bottles per pack. And we're looking now to replace four this year and five next year. And the reason I know the price is going to go up because they always
how we do. But what we're trying to do is get them offset from all being done at once. Right. So we don't have to equip the whole truck. Our bottles, we're getting trying to get our bottles like two bottles per pack. And we've got four packs that have been in service since we bought engine three. Two years ago, a year ago. Two years ago. Right? You know, so now we'll get four more. Trying to do a truck at a time. How many packs do you have? Oh, you told me one time. And 14, 15. <laughs> Counting trucks. Well, I'm trying to just make sure I don't miss them. I think we probably have close to 18 packs. Yeah, I was thinking you said 20 at one point. Yeah, I think it's 21. We ordered do the drain. Right. But we also have some spares hanging on the wall. And some are three years old or five years old, right? Some are different, different ages. Not these, not the packs we're replacing. But that, the, the packs, packs themselves that we have now have been the original packs for since the grant, which I'm pretty sure was close to 20 years. Hmm. 2005, I think. So 15 years. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And the bottles we have been replacing. Yeah, I remember you talked about doing it. Not all at once before. Right. And that was why, because all the bottles were going to come hydro tested. No longer hydro testable all at once. So that's when I first started. I added that in the air pack. The NCBA section was trying to replace six bottles a year. So, and we're to the point now, the packs are getting where they're not going to be serviced. So instead of keeping buying bottles, we want to start getting our packs in service, the new ones. So I don't have to come in here to you the day that the SCBA committee tells me all our packs are no longer good. Right. And I got to come in and say, hey, we need 15 packs, right. 30 bottles. You know, because then that sets the next guy up to be in the same position of it. Right. So we can do a little bit and a little bit. Is the money budgeted for this? Half. Half. For the four. A little less than that. You got four hours for this. On four. This got four. I messed up when I first talked to Dan and I was looking at three, but I was mistaken. Yeah. The truck I want to do is for. I want to do it per truck. Right. Do a truck at a time. Right. That way we're not mixing SCBA packs. Right. In the truck. Got it. This uh, quote is for one, right, Danny? Yes. And that quote is for one pack and two bottles. two bottles. Yeah. The bottles right now are listing manufacturer 1600. This pack price. You won't see it again. The reason we still got this is one of the sales reps gave us a really good price. And this price you will not, I'm telling you, they're going to go up. Mm -hmm. I mean, even the bottles, what he gave us for price there, when we bought the eight bottles on two years ago, they were 920. So even the cost that he's given us on the bottles have gone up by 1080, 1060. Yeah. So even they've gone up in the two year period. Right. And they, you got you got half, we gotta find the thirty thirty eight hundred. You know, right now building wise, you know, put on some things in the building. Let's see what we're at the end of the year, you know. So if we get to the end of the year and their budget was healthy and we didn't have to do as much as we really, then we can come back and maybe look at buying more. Right. But we still cycle in every you know year. I mean, realistically, if we do that, we're still at least a year apart. So right. Overall budget wise, yeah, I mean there's, there's there's extra not extra, but there's money in the, the building maintenance, repair, big where we want to 
going to do different things in the association. It's done a lot of things between the two. That's what I thought. So if we did three or four packs a, every, yeah. a year or every other year for the next yeah, five exactly. years. And, you know, we, and plus we don't want to lose track of you know, how many packs we're buying. So we're going to keep it where it is on the budget line, but in the overall budget, we're going to see if we can not do some of the other stuff that will. And something I can't afford to have go past December on actually having an action plan. So basically, like last year, we were almost 100,000 on the budget. So that's when, like what Dan was explaining, I can wait till July or I mean June, yeah. April, say, hey, okay, this is what we got. I want 13 packs. Right. I can't wait that long. No, you got to have it before. So the it's kind of like getting a loan. Exactly. But it's like taking a loan from the town for a 66 month loan to get to the other side right. and hopefully if things go well we'll have the money in the budget that we can get back to the town like, well let me ask you this what else is brewing what else do you need is coming up the only thing we're looking at is an improvement to the classroom you said that before yeah you talked about that a little bit well uh, yeah it's to try to get what's going to come down the pipe is we've been warned is the heat system. So what we're we've only been able we've got two beds, only one's coming right. Can't get the other one. I don't know why, but I'm getting to the point where I'm going to come in with more price. But we're looking at the little what they call mini splits. Mini splits. They're so great. We're looking at two of them for the size of the classroom, number of people, which are both cool and hot, so we can take the classroom zone off that furnace and try to get a little more life on it. It might get us two more years. Yeah, I'll be so, well. And the one quote we got was what? One of that quote is that? Sam? Yeah. Uh, is it 68, 70 grand? Sam. For two of them, that's that's I was thinking three three or four grand each. Because if we had done it at a certain time, there is the rebate. So I'm not sure when the rebate. Right. Okay. So they say in the end again. No, this ain't part of this, but this helps answer the question that you're asking. Right. I just wonder what's what's out there that we don't know. Nothing <clears throat> major on the building. The trucks are in real good shape. I mean, and yes, I'm going to use all my SCA budget on this, but even last year, we went over on the SCA budget. So we're meeting Wednesday night this week to start our budget. So that line item is going to go up because it's trying to get closer to reality. And I don't like going over on a line item, but if something happens, we kind of have to. Right. So the, the estimate for Sam was for $7,028. And that, that's a two head right. and one processor. Okay. And then he also gave us a quote for 6300 for um, bigger one. Yeah, a two is a better way to go. Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah. Two smaller ones. But when different it all happens and it's fall or whatever, <clears throat> something we've been trying to work on. That's the only major thing that we can see coming down that would really affect our budget. Yeah. As far as vehicles and equipment. Um, You're in pretty good shape. I know we're going to be getting some gear. We've got a pretty good line item on that. For turnout gear?
reality, we think that it yep. might adding a little more money for another bag. Yep. You know, and just try to do it ourselves when we can get close. Yep. All right. Thanks, Dennis. Do, you got, do I hear a motion about this? Are we looking to approve the purchase of four, yeah. four packs and an eight bottle? Uh, Brian, you want to do that? Sure. Player, right? I make I make a motion that we purchase the four packs, two and bottles. Eight, eight bottles. Eight bottles. Two bottles per pack. Eight bottles. Right. Four packs, eight bottles. Do I hear a second? Second. Is there further discussion? Is that more than what's listed here? It is. Four oh, times okay. that yeah. Say that again. Thirty thousand five eighty eight. There you go. Thirty thousand. You have half. You have half. Well, we got I think fifteen, twelve or fifteen thousand. Okay. Yeah. Any further discussion? I'm honest about it. Yeah. I know you so are. So where did where'd you say the rest of the money was coming from? Well, Dan's gonna move some stuff around and see where we're at with uh, building repairs and upgrades and that's why I asked Dennis what was looming or what was coming down the road and it doesn't sound like there may be anything so at the end of the, the year we can it'll still come out of fire department budget yeah it's still going to come out of the same the same fire budget but it's still we've been budgeting 25,000 a year for the building improvements that was so, so even if they did the furnace piece go about 17 18 thousand dollars left over in building funds go to 12 which you budgeted exactly we're just about there that's what i'm thinking same thing they budgeted 15 for the SCBA stuff, but they spent a little bit, like a thousand so far, so they've got like 14. Okay. And they budgeted 25 for the building. So that works. Yeah. Okay. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Any aye. opposed? Motion is passed. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the explanation. Great. Uh, number five, approved change order for the Mud City Loop Culvert Repair. What's going on with that, Dan? Actually, someone got given an IR up there last week. Um, so, and actually, the culvert is actually scheduled to be delivered tomorrow. If you ever get a chance to come up and look at it, I want to go up there. Yeah, yeah they put the pumps and moving up the rivers. Yeah, it's something that you don't see all right. the time like that. So, yeah. there's a little bit of water, I find. Yeah, yeah. mechanically. <laughs> Um, so what happens is, I think you've probably heard discussion too, used to be a timber bridge there. And so once they got down to the bottom, they found the old bottom of the timber bridge, of course, that's where the target attachment. Um, so they, they would like the compensation for going to work with the process, which is reasonable. It's not a lot of money. It's not a um, just so you know, too, they did hit ledge. Um, and Tyler uh, um, proposed that they had raised the whole culvert up 18 inches, so we wouldn't have to any blasting or major, you know, work in there to put the new culvert in, and that has been approved. So they're going to raise it 18 inches from where it is. It's not going to affect anything. It's just that the state likes the gravel to build up in the bottom of the culvert, Krista, I suppose, because it's the best way. So that it becomes a natural stream bed. Um, we've actually set it pretty low compared to where the actual stream was. It takes years, let alone, for the stream to fill that in. So he's letting us raise it up 18 inches. That's good. Not gonna, it just, it's just going to be going in there blasting the air down that way with the repair. So, other than that, it's, it's going good. Like I said, the call is supposed to be delivered tomorrow. Um, you know, the weather didn't push us back any really from what I saw. Well, it's tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, so. Um, I'm going to drive up there. They go take a look at it. It's, it's pretty interesting to see how they're doing it. We were able to watch it for a while. They're, they're doing a good job. That's great. So, do I hear a motion about this? I make a motion to approve the, uh, the uh, change order for the uh, for the amount of three thousand nine hundred and seventy one dollars. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? I was just curious. Favor, say uh, aye. Where, hold on. Uh, where does this? Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, where does this come out of the budget? It's gonna have you guys already to vote already. That's coming in the general budget. Yeah. Okay. Come from our. Uh, this this is pretty typical. Yeah. It's not it's not unusual to start a project. This thing's been buried for forty years. 
and it's not unusual to get down something and find something new. It could even be more or less than what we anticipated. We changed the change order to. So uh, this is really a pretty small change order in comparison. Right. So Actually, I think we saved enough by not requiring the bond to yeah, cover, to right. cover it. Right. Right. Yeah. Did you hear that, Judy? No. Gary pointed out that we saved enough by not requiring the bond that it covers that amount. I mean, $3,971 is a pretty small amount for. There's always question marks you can't see on the top that you can get to, and could be a lot worse than that. Okay. All right. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Any opposed? Motion is passed. Do we have any old business? Seeing none. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Is that new business? Yeah. Appoint new AMS. Bill. Thank you. Uh, Dominic Atlack <coughs> is a uh, national registered DMC, Vermont licensed DMC. Uh, currently runs with Mount uh, Mansco Ski Patrol. Lives here in town, run right off the road, and just up in that station to come to the He's available on Wednesday nights, which is a shift that we need shoring up staffing wise. So uh, if you're just asking uh, right now, Great. Do I hear a motion regarding that? Make a motion to approve it. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Any further discussion? What was the person's name? Dominic Atlack, A T L A K. Get that, Judy? Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Sound no more business. Approve the warrants. I have a motion. Hold with motion like approval. Sorry. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion on that? All in favor say aye. 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 Any, any opposed? Motion is passed. TA report. Um, we've been working with the VFW. I think everybody knows that the VFW drive goes quite a ways back. The VFW. We just continued on the VFW a couple of years ago. And we, we talked a long time about trying to pave that one with replacing paving Pleasant Street. And part of the problem, if you go look at it, we eventually did not pave it, um, even though it would have been a great time to do it. It's really an inverted street there. We were afraid if we paved it, we were going to start coming to water and get into both basements there. So we, we didn't pave it. Um, VFW has been actually they've solicited um, a lot of donations and they've got. They're, they're going to repave the whole parking lot. Um, and I've been working with them, and for us to have our street done and then pave everything that we've got is four thousand dollars. So just so everybody knows, I've, I've approved that already because it's a great time. If we ever have to go back and try to pave that, it's going to cost us a lot more than the equipment to get it done. They're going to take up the road. They've got contractors. They're going to fix it. They'll pave it. Their whole parking lot will be paved and done. So you see somebody back there working on the street, yeah, yes, we didn't know about it, and, and yes, they're going to pay us to take care of it. So that's a really, really good deal to get that fixed and out of our hair for years to come. Yeah. And they've got people donating time and stuff to get that done, so, just, so you know what's going over there if you see it. Okay. And that way, with everything is too, is we don't have to worry about, we won't be the one building it, so we don't have to worry about putting water in the basements. Mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of off us, <laughs> per se. That we don't have to worry about. It. Um, this project floating around right now at the state level to repave Route 115 um, from Johnson uh, right down to the bottom of the hill to the Morristown Home Cup line. That's scheduled right now, pending funding at the legislature for next year. Next year. That's so cool. that project is out there floating, and I just want to make sure that also includes from um, section of Route 100. That goes out by um, Camper down in that area all the way up to the light. So it comes down to where they dropped off and they did class one roads a number of years ago. And that section is a part of that project. They promised me that for a number of years that when they did that, they would pave that section. So that's it's a, a good section. That section of road really needs to pay really good bad. And it is, once again, pending funding. And what happens at the legislation is we do for a for repaving next year. How often do they web? I, I check that website a lot, you know, to see if it's updated and changes, and that's been on for 2021. 
yeah. quite a while and hasn't changed, so I don't know how often they... It, it, it pushed back. I mean, they... they it wasn't... I was there, it pushed back a year. Yeah, so yeah. it pushed back, I think, twice. Yeah. So, <clears> throughout plants, I did see some splendor plants. Yeah. Um, Some for that. Make sure that it's still included in that whole section because that's an easy section for somebody to forget. And so, it's a bad section. And it's a bad section because that thing's all scheduled for these babies um, for you know, next summer, hopefully. Um, don't forget the sidewalk tomorrow afternoon for active 50 for two level fit. Um, meet at the gate at 4 30. If you have a four wheel drive vehicle, bring it because that's the only way we can get there right now. So we're going to have to put people up there. So if you've got trucks or your jeep or whatever but the only way you're getting up there right now is four-wheel drive we're kind of watching the weather see what the weather does to us um hopefully it won't get because it gets rain and it could get money up in that area so a lot of people thought jeep was going down <laughs> so um it's a sidewalk but, um and once again we're moving forward on that but we are going to be at the gate at 4 30 start that sidewalk and just in the interest of everybody's public knowledge um Concept two has the post solar mount, uh, solar mount array or roof mount solar array for the buildings. Um, the description of the project voted through the select board tonight. You know, it looks like a good project. It's, you know, nothing on private property or nothing on public property. It's just another one of those things where more solar. That's really what I have. Okay. Any questions for Dan? Just that it's definitely 4.30, not 2.30. 4.30. 4.30. All right. right. Thanks, Dan. Next, select board concerns. Gary. Judy. Um, I just would once again ask if there could be some police patrols on Randolph. The people are zooming on this road like it's 100. Especially in the morning and the and the evening, the afternoon. So if that's possible. I hope that's not me going by your house that fast. <laughs> I hope not. I'd like to, have, you know, if I could just get a have a paintball gun and I could shoot them, I'd be fine with that. But I don't, I don't think, think I'm Richard would like that. that. No. Richard's shaking his head, yes, he'll he heard the request. <laughs> okay, thanks. Okay, Brian. Uh, I got three. One, she just reminded me of a, it's nothing I, I understand what's going on, but the stagecoach roads, when the pickup yesterday, passed two people on that narrow road. But they're going to do it because the other road's closed, so. Well, I think it's closer than what happened. It's getting closer. Yeah. Well, yeah, we stopped. I'm going to say it's the old Yeah. Yeah. You never have. Yeah. There's so many of them. Andy, go ahead. I run stage coach instead of 100. And sometimes I get a little irritated because when it says 50 and they still want to do 20, and I'm riding brakes down the hill by the old maximum car. That is you. I'm no, sorry. I don't pass people. You would know if it was me. But I'm just saying. <laughs> Speed on that road, I can see why people would pass. Anybody that knows that road and remembers it long enough been running it, and when it says 50 and you're still doing 40 and the time's cleared, you're probably going to pass. Just saying. Okay, what else you got? Possible bathrooms. Uh, I'm not going to get up it right now. We were supposed to start that down yet, all I just, I just noticed last I was down, there wasn't nothing going on. And, yeah. um, anything about the four wheeler coming into town? I don't know any back at all. I think they were waiting. They were putting some together. They're getting back. There has been a change no. in the leadership in the ATV club. Yeah, I was going to say maybe a while. That's yeah. Been a little shake up in the yeah, upper echelon there. Senior, senior leaders in the club have lost out every day. Okay. One being the trail mastery and the other being the wreck. Keep you posted. I just think it's a great thing because mm -hmm. something going on around between the snowmobile club and the ATV club. Yeah. I'm in the water here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. It's scary Sunday. Great, isn't it? It's just fun. We went up to Lowell, up over the, over the mountain, down to 
for the masses, had lunch, mm -hmm. for breakfast, and came back. Good ride. Fun. So how did it happen for I mean, he, he said he drove right in the middle of Newport, driving down the road right beside a police officer. Yeah. 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 I see him on the side. So I just think that when we can, if we could, we draw people in. That's all I have. Eric. Hey. Mike. So just to go with what Brian said, I, I ride my side by side all the time. And I'm forever going north, spending all my money up there. It's, you know, it'd be nice to be able to ride down to Hobie's or Charlemont on the next team. Because right now, if I ride off my road, I wouldn't say it's going to go great again. If you ride on your road, you're really Yeah. Well, if somebody's, not, if somebody's paying attention. You gotta get one of those farm triangles like the Lampers do and go back. Well, yeah. But what I'm saying is it would bring up a lot of money because it's at the bottom of something. And if we could open up even the northern side of town, you know, with the restaurants there and the stores and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you're going you're gonna to bring in a lot of money. Sounds good. Thanks for the input. And I, I'm all set too. I did have something and I can't remember what it was. Oh, I'll come back. Trying to think of what it was. Well, I'll think of it maybe. <clears throat> Next, other business. Julie, just standing on there. There's five motions to be read one at a time for the executive session, okay? Okie dokie. <laughs> uh, I make a motion to enter executive session to discuss the evaluation of a public facility of the provisions of Title I, Section 313, 383, for Moss Patches. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's passed. I move that Phoenix Prison public knowledge pending on top of the litigation, which the public body is when the party or public business challenge is substantially disadvantaged by the building, the closing this negotiation strategy. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Uh, I move to enter executive session to discuss pending or probable civil litigation to which the public body is or may be party under the provisions of Title I, Section 313A1 of the Mass Statute to include. Anyone else? Nope. Just in. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Uh, okay. Time of premature general public knowledge of real estate purchase for lease options for clearly placed in town at a substantial disadvantage by disposing its negotiation strategy. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. And finally, I move that we have executive session to discuss real estate purchase or lease options. Under the provisions of Title I, Section 313A1 of the statute, to conclude the Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any aye. opposed? Motion is passed. Hi, Brian. Did you have something? Yeah, I did, but I didn't want to interrupt you. Go ahead. I, I can't. I probably shouldn't be here. But anyway, I'm Brent Tan. I'm a member of the Conservation Commission. Yep. And as you know, we've been busy up there trying to do you know, a good thing up there, getting some trails in and so forth. Yeah. We're getting a good influx of people from the town and from the county coming in. It's just unbelievable. We've put in a lot of new trails, and by God, those trails have got a lot of human footprint. We saw a moose print up there the other day, and now some of the trails are being used by horses, which is good, I think. So, my reason for coming tonight, and I apologize to you for. I was out of, out of town and my schedule got screwed up so I didn't get on the agenda. But I wanted to come to invite you, Ms. Fleckman and Dan and others, to kind of a low-key open house this coming Saturday. You'll see something in the paper. What time is that at, Brad? It'll be 10 o'clock up at the Beaver Meadow parking lot. Parking lot. Okay. And I, every, of course, everybody will get an invite to the paper, but I want to personally invite you. We really, the Conservation Commission really appreciates the help that Dan and the Select Board has given us. A lot of to do some things up there. We had a couple of timber sales, got some of the plantations, and, and now we got some beautiful trails in there. We got a
got a new pamphlet that's coming out, and hopefully then I got an email when I was coming down here that there were some pamphlets made here today. Yep. In the that's great. And I want to make sure I call you guys yep. But I apologize again for being late, coming from being late, not getting that understand that this didn't work out. No problem. I tell you, I I, uh, I had a nice tour with uh, Steve Ray a while, oh, quite, quite a while ago. He's very knowledgeable about the town forest, and I was just so impressed. If more people knew about it, more people would be up there. Well, we, we you know, why are you doing this kind of Well, there's just been this increase of use. Yeah. And we said, geez, we don't take advantage of that and let people know that it's there. Right. And I mean, there's not going to be speeches or anything else. They just kind of get a little history. Sure. In these out. Yeah. Some people may not know how to get around there. We got a new stepping stone bridge across the road. We got a couple other bridges that we built out there. That's great. The use is tremendous, but the increased use is going to be good. So thank you for the time and the yeah. Again. That's fine. No, thanks. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for the invite. I can't be there because I'm. Having I'll try to. I'll try to. I'm going to put it in my phone. I'll try to make it up there. Judy, I'm going to hang up and call you right back. Thanks, Brian. Okay. Thanks.